did for like that very first video you dropped what yesterday or the day before that where you literally titled it why i kicked him from ssh but yeah you say you didn't see my video until this last video you just dropped you titled it why i kicked him from ssh but you swear you didn't see my video until when you just reacted but okay Anyways, though, let's talk about the video. Okay, so your video that you dropped, your very first one saying, why you kicked me, had nothing to do with me. The video literally had nothing to do with me, for Like, you should have titled that Mental Health um, Update. Like, Mental Health Update, literally, that's what you talked about. You didn't talk about nothing but yourself, how you done helped yourself up, how this, that, and the third. You talked about everything but me. Better yet, I don't even think you mentioned my name in the very first video. You didn't even ask to so much mention my name. You didn't speak on no points like that video was so pointless on top of hey i'm pausing real quick i did see that video that he that he's talking about and he's speaking completely facts i ain't gonna lie he's speaking at completely facts the reason why i say that is because like to me all right so he speak completely facts the video that he dropped pretty or fredo i seen it but I, I i he deleted it you know what i'm saying so i can't really brb all right kakashi i'll see you when you get back so you know what I'm saying? Like, he, uh, Pretty Well Fredo only spoke about his mental health and how he's how he's doing now. Don't miss me, darling. <laughs> you funny as <laughs> You funny, bro. But now, like, check this out. So, like, Pretty Well Fredo was just saying, like, how he's doing mentally now, how he and SSH was doing uh, with all the brothers and everything like that. But he excluded Bari uh, from it because they everybody knows and everybody in the world knows that that are in tune with the SSH. Um, you know, saying community, they know that Barry and and uh, Fredo ain't doing too good. You know what I'm saying? So they 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 over here watching it, and then bro ain't speak on. He named the video that, but he ain't speak on it. I he only did it for clickbait. I understand he tried to get his views up. Cool, smooth. We all understand. We know. But like, it's just the fact that he he could have named the video uh that as an update, but he knew that he would catch more views. We all know, bro, watched the video before that. But he didn't he he didn't specify exactly what was going on. You know what I'm saying? What the rule? We I'm not trying to knock bro because he he uh, Fredo just trying to get his back. It is what it is. He doing his thing. Cool. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Whatever the fuck. But I'm just trying to say like yeah. What what Barry talking about right now is completely facts. It is what it is. Like he ain't say nothing about it whatsoever. It was just him talking about how uh the Brody's with the SSH without Bari and saying that how everything is communicative and everything like that is good between everybody and how everything is going to move forward and how, every, how everybody is good when it comes to communication. That's it. Now go ahead, Bari. Talk your shit. That, you only kept the video up there for like two hours. You feel me? And majority of the comments was telling you like, you wrong, bro. Bari this, Bari that. Like, literally your top comment was about me. Like, look. Honest, I feel Fredo changing, bro. Not in a bad way. His video is more natural, but more fun to watch. You made the right decision, Fredo. Not to, not for yourself, but for the people around you. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Not gonna, he talking about this time. Not gonna lie, Barry made the videos better. I miss him, man. 873 likes on this video. He's talking about this one. Now, I read this one because it's a top comment that Fredo pinned, but your most liked comment was this one talking about Barry. My man said everything but the point. Yep. Yep. I watched it too. You said everything but why you kicked Barry out of SSH. Ain't no way, to be honest. Smooth, bring Bari back. He was the best and most energetic one. We need Bari back. Fredo never said why he removed Bari from SS, uh, from the SSH crew. All he talked about was what happened around him. He never said why he did all the things he did too. The fact that you didn't explain anything about the reason why you kicked Bari from SSH. Everybody liking these comments. You know what There's I'm no cap in what I'm saying. And then look though, and then look at this, look at this. So two hours go by, right? And the video is it says it's took down. The video is gone, like 
But what you take the video down for? He put on his story. Um, I'm gonna get a fan. What y'all want? Y'all deserve to hear it. Give me two hours. Mind y'all, it was past two hours. He didn't drop it. He waited till the next day to do that. But whatever. He took the video down. But you know them lit YouTube plug channels. They kept the video up, right? They kept the video up. So check me out. This is what happened. I post the video that the uh, plug channel had posted on their stuff, right? I put it on my Instagram story with the link, right? Tell me why. Couple hours go by. And this man has copyrighted the video. <laughs> hey, look, the screenshot literally say, some, some, some copyrighted Alfredo Villa. Look. The video is no longer available due to copyright claim by Alfredo Villa. That's tough. Like, literally, the proof is in a pudding, folks. That video was clearly pointless. You posted that, like, why? I don't know. I, I don't even know why you posted that. Like, thank you for the mental health update, bro. I'm happy that you're becoming a better man and all that, but... You saying one thing, but for these actions saying something totally different, folks. So let's let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I'm finna do is respond to the little hour long video you did, bro. Good job, but that watch time should be crazy. Like you made it an hour long reacting to my video as if as if you hadn't already seen it, but okay. And yes, we know you've seen it, folks, because you cut out different pieces from my vid. That means you've seen it. That wasn't your first time reacting. Now you say you have nothing to do with us collabing and no say so, and you didn't have a problem with me um, collabing with Sid and all that, but folks. Let's be honest, like, let's speak factual facts. You play a big part in that, right? Let's give an example, like, say you get into it with another YouTuber, right? You get into it, you, Fredo, you get into it. It's gonna affect us, why? Because we're a group. So if you into it with him, we are into it with him too. We are not gonna be able to go mess with them, they are not gonna mess with us. You play a big part in who we can collab with. You have burnt a lot of bridges. Now let's think about, it. besides me, right, who else in your SSH group has ever stepped out and collabed? I'll wait. They are not going to collab because you preach that so damn hard that we don't collab with other YouTubers. Like, stop trying to make it seem like you don't have a problem with it. When you literally try to, like, install that in everybody, like, no collabs, only the game, no collabs, only the game. Then you say, um, the, the trip was $30,000. Like, be realistic. We didn't ask you for that trip. We did not ask you for that trip. You organized that trip, right? Thank you. I appreciate it, folks. I'm not going to say we didn't appreciate it. The trip was nice, right? Good thing. But let's be clear, folks. We could have just drove our own cars down there if we was going to know you was just going to fly back or we going to find our own way back. But you, you, everything I keep saying is you. You wanted us all to get in that Sprinter van so we could record and we all ride down there together. If that was the case, we could have all just drove separate cars. That way, having transportation back, everybody could have just drove their cars or if somebody did want to fly back, then it could have been their choice. But by you just telling us all to get in a Sprinter van and one editor to drive one car, that clearly leaves us only the choices of we have to fly back or get in that car. Like, come on, gang, stop playing. Now, let's speak on the girls tough. and knocking on the door situation, right? You say the purpose of you knocking on the door is because you was ready for us to get up and get to work, right? That is not the case. The purpose of you came and knocked on my door is because you was done with the other girl. You was done with her. Like, y'all had done what y'all did. You say you was tired of her. That's what you told me. Stop lying for. Let's be honest. You didn't come in because you said we're going to work because, yeah, we did work, but we didn't do no actual video. We didn't start working until, like, after one, after two, like, after one, two. That was, like, nine, ten in the morning. Like, your story don't add up. Or your purpose as to why you came and knocked on that door was not because you were trying to get to work. You just wanted them to get out of there. Just just say that. Keep it a stack. Because if that's the case, you better off. You could have just told the females, like, we want to get to work. Y'all need to go. But, yeah, instead, you telling me to tell them we finna go jet skiing. <laughs> And again, so let's be clear. You say this trip was for business and we supposed to work and all that, but we didn't get to Miami until like later at night. Why would you tell them females to pull up? I didn't tell them to pull up. No, Malik didn't tell them to keep, Nobody else told them to pull up. You invited them females there, folks. Nobody else did. Like, that's your fault. You knew we was going to have to get up early in the morning. You was going to be ready to work. You should have never even invited no females from Orlando. You should have just left it be us. We all go to sleep and we wake up and we could have got to work. You invited them. That's a whole different plot twist. I didn't know that. Like, you mean to tell me you mad about bruh having shorties in your rooms? What the woo? And you still, you mad because he got the, you know what I'm saying? The, the response that he had? Knowing how he treat females. He not completely about to dog him out. Like, you, you knew. You were the one that invited them. Come on, gang. You, you got to do better than that, bro. Hey, I ain't going to lie. This shit look way better. This look better. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I had to stop the video. I had to go do something. I come back. 
And I set this little setup. This look way more clear. I don't... Yeah, I like this. I like this. All right, let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. Okay, so let's speak on your little lighter situation. How you said you took the only lighter we had. You went in the room. You smoked on your own. <laughs> you said, nah, I know. So you went in there. You took the only lighter. You smoked on your own. Then you said you went to sleep. You saying, why would Barry put it this way? I don't know why he would say it this way. I'm saying what it is. That's just how it happened. Outside looking in, we on the outside of the room. You took the light in there. Clearly, you just said you went in there. You smoked by yourself. Then you went to sleep. We don't have a lot of light. Come on, gang. <laughs> what? Then you're going to say you felt disrespected when I was knocking on your door because I was kicking your door in. What? Bro, you just lied. And you can ask your SSA members and everyone that was there. Let's say who was downstairs. Geek, our editor. Uh, Keys Cam. Darren, he was even out there. Ask whoever you want to ask. Was I kicking your door in? Like, come on. Uh, I was not kicking your door in at all. I might have banged some the same way you banged. And you say you felt disrespected. So what you think I felt? But that don't, that don't matter though, huh? That don't matter. What matters is I came in and kicked in your daughter, right? I get it. I don't even know why you emphasizing on me, quote unquote, kicking your door in and so loud and all that. You trying to make it seem better for yourself because of the way that you was knocking on my shit. So you trying to make it seem like it's equal when it's really not. And you said something like, uh, if you would have got out the bed, Lord knows what would have happened. Like, fuck, what is you saying? If you would have got out the bed, you would have gave the lighter. You would have gave up the lighter. Or like you said, you just didn't get out. Like, what do you mean if you would have got up? Like, we ain't gonna do that for Let's not do that. Then you said something like, uh, Barry has his good days and Barry has his bad days, but when he has his bad days, they're bad, bad. Like, I don't even have, like, bad days. What are you talking about? Let's, let's talk about your bad days. <laughs> let's talk about your bad days, bro. What? I don't have bad days, but you? Come on now. Come on now. Saying my personality versus Cam personality is pushing him over because of my mindset, whatever the case may be. Okay, cool. So if if my mindset, right, me, my the way I act, the way I move, I'm pushing Cam over. What you what is you doing then? What is you doing? <laughs> Please tell me. If I'm knocking Cam over because my mindset's so strong, this now and the third, what are you doing to them? Hmm? Then you say like Barry got a strong influence on how the other guys act, like if Barry doing it, they feel like they ain't gotta do it and all this other stuff like fo. I'm doing me. They can do them. They see me doing something that they really want to do, but they scared to do. So once they see me do it, it's like, okay, yeah, now let me do it. They just be scared to take the first step on their own and do it. So yeah, when they see me do it, they do feel like they can do it too, I guess. But that's because they are scared to do it on their own. I wonder why though. I, I do. Only thing is I just stand up for myself and I do me. And they be wanting to do the same thing. Either they just scared or they got their own reason as to why they don't. I can't help it, I'm just an alpha male. Like, I have that leader mindset, like that growth mindset. I'm gonna keep stepping. You feel me? I can't help that I'm not submissive or whatever you said like them. I'm not submissive, bro. I'm not. If you want to say I'm aggressive, whatever the case may be, I guess so. But I'm not that. I'm just an alpha. Like you said, I'm a leader. I, have a I don't know, bro. This shit is just weird, bro. I don't know for real because, like, like, what, what am I supposed to say? Like, I already told y'all, like, Barry, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gave me no reason not to believe him type shit, you feel me? Like, but, I'm, like, what basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm trying to side, I'm trying to hear both sides of Barry and Fredo. I'm trying to hear from both sides. That's where I'm coming from. And there's been times, countless times, by the way, from Fredo doing some dumb shit. And it get it being turned back toxic, back to this nigga. And then you got fucking this nigga Bari speaking his mind, and it basically counteracting. You know what I'm saying? Like Bari ain't never said nothing or done nothing that will make me think that this nigga was an op or not an op, but like just like somebody that would just fumble or just do some flaky ass shit towards Fredo to fuck his bag over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just weird, bro. Bro, mindset, I'm strong-minded, and I know my worth. I feel like that's what it really is. I know my worth. That's what it is. Also, bro, stop trying to make it seem like I was so ready to go smoke and so thirsty to go mess with some females when Malik is the one that had the females coming after the video. We were trying to figure out if they still coming because it was getting late. Like, what is you saying? It wasn't just me. Everybody was trying to wait on them females. Even you, like... 
You just want to continue working because you want to get the video done. But after the video, you asked about them too. He said they weren't coming. That's why you went to sleep. Then you said something about the beds, like um, if anyone should have got the room, it should be a Malik because of seniority or blah blah blah. Like, folks, if you wanted Malik or anybody else to get the room, you should just assign those rooms. You should have just assigned those rooms and not let us pick our room if you was gonna feel some type of way. Like, make that make sense. And I'm happy you finally admitted in your video that you was holding on to a lot of stuff and you finally exploded. That proves my point, that you just sucking in this stuff. You just holding in secret animosity and you waited for that one time just to explode and let it all out. So you, yes, you meant everything you said. Like, I get it. And then you go on talking about money you spend and money we don't have to worry about and we always have your hand and how you like, um, you don't take money from our videos and blah, 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 and stuff like that. But we don't take money from your videos either. We don't even get money from your videos. Like, what? <laughs> we in your videos helping our brother out and to shine on our own, I guess. We're not getting paid for your videos just as much as you're not getting paid for our videos. So what are you really saying? And then the title be SSH does this or SSH does that as a, that's the group name, but it's your channel, it's your money. Like we don't get nothing either. So let's, let's clear the air on that too. As for the boxing thing, you said like, you didn't really want me to pull up. Like that's why you brought Dab and Jada cause you had already intended on doing a video without me. Like, why would you tell me to pull up then? <laughs> why would you text me to pull up? Make it make sense. You literally text me that. But you're gonna say you really didn't want me to come. Why you didn't just say that? Why you don't just keep stuff a hundred fold? Then you said something like, it's so much boiled up stuff inside you. Like, what? You got, what are you holding on to? Speak, speak. Hold on to stuff for one moment. Okay, now that we done addressing your little video that you did, now let's speak factual facts, right? Now let's be factual with facts. Like we already knew, it was gonna take for me to get on this camera, post a YouTube video, just for you to respond to me. Do you see that? Do you see that, folks? That's lame, literally. I went every other way besides this, and the one time I finally post a video, you respond. This is my first time even hearing you say anything about it myself. Like, what? You live for this, folks. Ain't no way we could not have handled this off the camera. Like, you never even said, what was your reasoning for removing me or kicking me out the group, or whatever the case may be. You don't even know the reason. You don't even know what to say. You don't even know what to say. Because if you... It's crazy, because I believe this nigga... I believe this nigga, bro. I swear to God, like, the way this nigga moved, like, it's crazy. Because I've been watching Fredo since 2018. And I, I've been seeing some wild ass shit, bro. I swear to God. And it's not even barred. Like, it's been niggas that don't even fuck with Fredo like that. And it's just like, it's been niggas that Fredo put in his videos that be coming back. You know what I'm saying? Trying to prove this nigga Fredo is a fucking flake. You know what I'm saying? And I don't believe that shit. That shit, wow, that shit fake. I was like, all right, cool, smooth, right? But then, this is coming from a true... Sorry about that. SSH member. Like, this nigga lives and works with this nigga Fredo. Like, they work together. Like, it don't get no realer than this. Like, what? Tell the truth, you'll be telling on yourself. If you tell the truth as to why you feel the way you feel towards me, you'll be telling on yourself. And that's facts. That's all facts. And you're not going to say that because you know. Okay, now let's speak on it because you're trying to make it seem like I was the problem in the video or something like, I was not the problem. I'm not the problem at all. The whole time you going through July and all them different months and you saying you was working on yourself so that's why you was away from us, we were still together. All of us were still together. Me, Malik, Keith, um, Cam, Geekin. We was all still kicking it together while you were too busy taking care of your, your mental health. Okay? The vibe between us was genuine. We didn't have no problem. You go look at the videos we did together on Malik's channel or anybody else's channel, the vibe was genuine. It was never no problem with me. Never, right? But you just said in your video how when we all together, it's a problem, things ain't working, all types of stuff, but the time that you ain't there, we didn't have no problems. Right? Okay. Even a clear example, right? Malik's recent video, he dropped a barbershop video. That's old, but he dropped a barbershop video. You are not in it, because I don't think we was all talking at the time. It's me. Cam, Malik, and Keith, and the editor. And what the vibes are, they genuine, no problem, right? Okay. You sitting here saying like, how you done changed and you better now and all this other stuff, but folks, let's speak facts, right? Let's speak another fact. You said that was in July, all this stuff is old, right? Okay, cool, no problem. This shit toxic, bro, I swear to God. Now let's refresh your mind on something. Let's refresh you, right? So, 
Playboy Cardi had a concert October in Orlando, right? He had a concert in Orlando, right? Okay. Me, Malik, and our editor, we're going together. We not expecting to see you. I don't know how. We pull up to the gas station. We see Fredo was there with Darian, some cameraman he hired, and the subscriber that he supposed to take to the concert, right? Randomly, he put up to the lit 7-Eleven gas station. Okay, so Malik, get out the car. I got the car. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get out with you. We walk over there. You shook our hand. You seen Malik, you said, what's up, Malik, my boy? You seen me, you said, Bari. You shook my hand. This is in October. This is recent now. Since you want to say July was old, this is recent. What was that? Darian was right there in the face, too. Malik was there, too. So you can ask him if you think I'm lying. You shook my hand. You said, what's up, Bari? Like, but if you still was going to feel this same way now, why would you shake my hand then? You flawed. Like, you lame, for Who do that? If you felt that same type of way, you should never even shake my hand then. You not real, folks. You shook our hands. We chopped it up a little bit. Malik went to go pay for the gas. He came back. He pumped the gas. After that, we departed. But we all went to the same concert. This is not told now. What am I doing, y'all? Me, Malik, and our editor, you, Darian, them people, we all went to the same Playboy Cardi concert, but if anybody else there, y'all peep game, we never linked up together. The whole concert, they stayed on their side, we stayed on our side. The whole purpose of me saying that is that you shook my hand, and then, like, you want to act like this, like, you didn't just shake my hand, like, That so shit weird. crazy, so bro. Weird. Like, bro, I introduced you to my family this year. I invited you to my graduation party in Minnesota, folks. Let you come up there and meet my mom, my auntie, my grandma, twin. All types of stuff, folks, because I really rocked with you. I thought you was like family. I don't even introduce people to my family, folks. And I introduced you because I fuck with you that much. And this how you turned out, folks? Ain't no way. Like, ain't no way, for We not cut the same at all. There's no way I can ever move like that at all. So, like, you envy me and you jealous of the success nah, I just did. Nigga. And the limitless potential that I have. Like, how can you possibly be jealous and envy of that, folks? That's weird. Especially when you the reason why I'm even here. You, you put me on this platform for me to show out. And I show out, and I'm shining, you would think you would be happy like, damn, boy, you shine. But instead, it's like, no, nah, let me stop fucking with Bar so he don't get the spotlight too much. Like, that's the vibes you give me, folks. That's weird as hell. And it's not like I ain't been producing in your videos, folks. Ever since my very first video, when I physically met you and we finally did a video together, I've been producing. It's not one video you can name that I'm in that Bari not stepping. Like, what? I used to bust my ass to get to your videos. I'm driving from Daytona Beach. Mine, Daytona Beach is an hour away from Orlando. Anytime this man hit my phone, hey, bar, I need you to pull up for a video. I'm leaving class. I'm stopping whatever I got to do. I'm pulling up. I am not getting paid for this. I was not getting paid for this for all my day. I'm not getting paid. You might tag my Instagram, Showtime Bari. The fans and stuff, they might see me, so they go subscribe to mine and follow me on all social media and stuff like that. But I'm not getting paid for this. But I'm genuinely coming to help because I genuinely want to be here. I want to act in these videos and I help you. I like the vibe. But this vibe you give me, I can't believe you. This weird, folks. Because I never moved like that with you and you know that. You wrong, folks. You dead wrong. Like, ain't no way around you dead wrong. And then you won't even admit it. You won't yeah, even admit so that you wrong. tough. You so much pride inside you that you won't even admit what's wrong. All you're going to say is you regret it. You regret it. Like, you ain't even say you wrong. Like, bro, what? Even after I put my video out, you still didn't take the chance to reach out to me. With my number, Instagram, link up. We both live in Orlando, bro. Like, we literally both live in Orlando. You didn't even do that. You went right to the camera. Literally, folks, you went right to the camera when you could have just unblocked me and messaged me. That whole group is not, ain't nothing real about that. Ain't nothing real about it. Like, let's be realistic, folks. Let's be realistic. Because all them boys, before they just got back with you, they was rocking with me. We claim we brothers and all this stuff, and they still rock with me next and the third. But the way I look at it, folks, is if y'all rock with me the same way y'all said y'all did, it's no way we'll be like this. Because of the way I'm looking at it, put it like this. If we bros, right, we bros. All y'all done talk. Mind you, we all been locked in together. Y'all talk to bro, y'all settle y'all differences and all that. You would think y'all be like, okay, I'll come back, but only if my other brother, Bari, come back, you settle with him. But that's not it. Like, y'all probably have told him to talk to me this and the third, and y'all have even told me on the phone, like, Bari, we done told him to talk to you, he don't want to talk. Like, that's cool. It's no problem. But the fact that y'all still rock with him and y'all see what bro own, that just make y'all just as weird and that make me push. What makes y'all think if he doing this and acting his way towards me, he wouldn't do it towards y'all? And I've been here longer than. But some of y'all, to be honest, and look how we act. We once upon a time called each other brother for life. We would never fall out. But now look, like, y'all got to open y'all minds and think, folks. Like, how could y'all... Yeah, it's so tough, bro. 
He's speaking facts. Like, the fuck you talking about? That shit crazy, bro. Like, what you just said, like, if we've been doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? We've been, we've been true. We're doing our own thing, smooth, wooty woo. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he do this shit to me, what makes you think that he won't do that shit to y'all? That's the most truest shit that I ever heard, bro. A toxic mind gonna stay a toxic mind, bro. Barry ain't, in my eyes, Barry ain't done nothing wrong but speak his mind and be true to himself. And him being true to himself ended up being in a toxic fucking argument with the leader of SSH. And the leader of SSH didn't fucking feel comfortable or that nigga was not fucking with that shit in a sense or in a, in a situation with the who gives a fuck. So this shit got fucking fucked over. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Y'all possibly call yourself my brother, and this how y'all acting. Everything y'all doing, everything that everybody over there, how y'all moving, I could never. So I don't even know how y'all doing that with me, for Y'all dead wrong. And soon y'all gonna realize that when y'all get the courage to finally voice y'all opinion, like some man, the same way y'all be voicing y'all opinion about bro to me when he not around, it's the same way y'all need to voice y'all opinion. But y'all don't do that. Y'all close y'all mouth. Why? Y'all told me why y'all close y'all mouth, bro. Let's be honest. But I get it. I get it. Like, bro, don't get me wrong. Y'all don't owe me no loyalty. Y'all don't owe me no loyalty. So I see where y'all loyalty gonna stand. And that's what y'all gonna stand by. Y'all got it for no love lost. I just see how y'all move. I ain't even gonna put y'all out there. But let's just be honest. Like, I know this. I know what's going on. December 25th, what, 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 he, what he giving y'all? On the SSH channel. He finally gonna give out an SSH channel. Boy, why all of a sudden that now is just now coming about? All of a sudden, he's just now starting to do everything that people been complaining about. What? And you know what? The thing is this, for The thing is this. If anything, you really the problem, Fredo. Like, you are the problem, but you just fail to realize it, and you got too much pride to accept that. You are the problem. Everybody else around you do not be the problem. You bring them problems amongst us, and then try to take it out and play victim when everybody approach you about it. Like, come on, for I know you too well, gang. That's weird. I don't even know why you pulled this weird stuff with me, but it's cool, bro. It's cool. Like I said, no pressure. It is what it is, For I see how you rock. I figured it out. I appreciate it. Everything you done taught me, everything you done did, folk. But do you. I'm going to let y'all do y'all. I'm going to do me. And people see straight through. Real going to recognize real. And the fake going to ride with y'all. <laughs>